Dear colleagues, this is surgery of a hard mature cataract. Let us see how the surgery proceeds. This is the main incision 2.8 millimeter. The patient is under topical anesthesia and we can see that the patient is moving his eye a lot. I don't hold the eyeball with a fixation forceps because it can give rise to subconjunctival hemorrhage. I just support the eyeball with a cotton tipped Johnson bud and I can make the incisions and all the procedures. The anterior capsule of the cataract is being stained with tripan blue dye underneath an air bubble. The dye is washed out 4 or 5 seconds after its application. Enough staining occurs within this short period of time. Now viscoelastic substance that is being used in this case is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. SPMC. This is a side port incision on the left side of the main incision. Now the anti capsule is incised like this. The nice flap is raised. In hard cataracts, I usually aim for a large rexis. But in this case, the capsular rexis became not very large. It became as it is in soft cataracts, about 5.5 millimeter or so. And now, hydrodissection is done. A little bit of viscoelastic substance has been removed by pressing the posterior leaf of the main incision. Now, hydrodissection is being done. little bit of BSS is injected this side and it is injected 180 degree away and the nucleus is attempted to rotate and it rotates. It has become free from its capsule. And now viscoelastic substance is injected again. In this case we are going to use Oatly Catrix 3 FACO machine and now is the time to enter into the eye. I go bevel down and I start sculpting at the anterior pole of the cataract. My idea is to make a crater of enough depth so that I can engage the FACO tip at the margin of this crater and chop the nucleus. Now I turn the FACO proof and make the bevel up. Now I start sculpting. After sculpting for some time when I reach a sufficient depth in this depth, I make the fast chop. Now I rotate the nucleus 180 degree and sculpt on the other side. Hold the nucleus with vacuum and try to separate the nucleus. Yes, it divides into two halves. Feco power in this case while I was sculpting was 80%, flow rate was 32 and vacuum was 110. And now when I am chopping and emulsifying each fragment, the Feco power is same 80%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This Oatly FECO teeth has got a big advantage in case of hard cataracts. We can see that the teeth is wider and the shaft is narrower. 
and there is enough BSS around the shaft and the wound is nicely protected by the fluid that is around the shaft of the titanium tip. I have never come across any wound burn while I was using this machine. In my earlier machine where the teeth and the shaft are of same caliber, are of same diameter, I have come across many cases with burn of the main incision, anterior leaf of the main incision. That's it. The nucleus has been managed. And now I inject little bit of viscoelastic substance. Again, SPMC. I stay at enough distance from the corneal endothelium and I can protect the corneal endothelium very well by this very economic viscoelastic substance that is HPMC. All my patients have crystal clear cornea next day even on the same day afternoon. Cortical cleanup has been done in this case by a Simco cannula and now is the time to implant a full level intraocular lens in the capsular bag. Viscoelastic substance is injected and now this is the intraocular lens, a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. The lens is dialed using a Sinsky hook so that it is placed at a desired position. And now is the time to remove the viscoelastic substance thoroughly. I go behind the IOL and irrigate the space between the IOL and the posterior capsule. I use bimanual IA in the antechamber to remove the viscoelastic substance. The idea is to remove the viscoelastic substance thoroughly so that I don't get any rise of intraocular pressure in the postoperative period. Now, this is moxifloxacin. little bit of moxifloxacin is injected into the antechamber. Now I hydrate corneal stroma at the same to the side port. The stroma swells up and the side ports are converted into watertight wounds. Dear colleagues, these videos are to encourage the junior residents, the residents of ophthalmology to do good surgeries. Please share these videos with the residents of ophthalmology. Thank you very much for your attention.